now it is 7 a.m. Waiting for presentation to start. So any minute now. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. All right. Time to hear a bunch of timed exclusives every freaking minute. I'm trying to lose my mind because I don't really watch Indie World presentations because of this. It's just such poorly written. No offense. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. Blackjack. I almost said, I was almost thinking about Persona 5, but that's not an indie game. Oh, a crossover between The Witcher and this? Okay. Alright, another crossover. So this card game's getting crossover with a few on properties. Okay. Okay. Among Us, of course. Of course, they can't ignore Among Us after all. This game is just too popular. Available <laughs> later today as a free update. Okay. Hola, som Nova de Estudio, l'equip darrere de Gris i ara el pròxim joc neva. I understand Spanish. Història de maternitat, on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen actualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidado también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego Y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. What else? But from the creators of Greece. What's this one? Did I kind of recognize the art style of it, but I don't remember what it is. I like I said, I don't really watch a lot of indie world streams. I don't remember a whole lot of other um, indie games. Oh, it's never. Okay. I never knew about Creep that. Creep crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. The threat the DDR. of a mysterious event known as the Final Process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the company? Or even reality itself? As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life, each with a story that's interwoven with moths. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with Is this like Earthbound? And be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. 
Hey guys, we're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk episode two. Hey everyone, we really need, like, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. We really need to sell time the for the English speakers. Of Coffee Talk, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Maybe someone speaks Junkie a different language. Hi, I'm Kimitaka Ogawa, a writer and uh, English to Japanese games translator. I oh. have the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Chorus to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time, brings something new to the table. And now, uh, you know, delivering coffee to, to the table. An exciting new game for Good Coffee joke. Talk fans. Coffee, coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo! Tokyo. Okay. Looks pretty cozy. Interesting. This guy a Kappa man or something? to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars Throws of the Watchmaker DLC. Gear up for a journey full of oddities and wonders in which Valir and Zael will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zael will transform into a skillful juggler, while Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Okay, dance Together moves. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches on Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey, get out of my swamp! Sorry, what? Amber. But just like oh, onions, Shrek, the swamp has power wash of dirt that need to be blasted away. Or whatever it's called. Uh, fine, I'm ogre it anyway. <laughs> a muddy good time awaits in the Shrek special pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. I mean, the new Feel Shrek like movie is coming next year. As you wash or away the grime so. covering five fairy tale or next year or two or whenever, universe, but it's coming soon. Shrek's very own swamp. And the Dragon's Lair. Womp. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new night themed character model. And get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a new game called Morsels. You play as a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike set in a grungy, whimsical world. When I first pitched Morsels four years ago, yeah, I wonder how many roles like we're gonna get, get every year. year. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler than night fishing. Is your cat also a programmer? Morsels, they enjoy the frenetic or is it just there on the background? Games personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Hmm. 
evil pigeon. Not just the cats, you gotta avoid the, the pigeons. All the birdies. Weird game. February twenty twenty five. All right. Hey there. They say home is where the heart is. I thought it was going to be in like another dating sim game. game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can't oh, date okay. pretty much everything. I, I see this kind of style of gameplay, and I just think it's a dating sim. Unconventional partners to choose from. Fall madly in love with Tabrizio the cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Dude, You're this a dude's a Chad. Showing his pecs and his bod dream. like that. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way! Lux the lamp is all mine! But did you know that you could even date the game itself? What? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious branching this is such a weird dating sim game. Voice characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Perish the thought, swashbuckler. I dry as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship. Oh my goodness. Or even disdain. There's even furries in this Find game. the object of your affection when Date Everything launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Peglin. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. That's as when the weird as started, saying physical Peglin, or physically. Creative escape. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin friend to explore. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. So much passion for these indie devs. Have been stealing Even being a small team. As you can remember. It's time to delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko inspired RPG, roguelike pachinko roguelike to deal RPG, I mean. turn based battles. The more pegs you hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Awesome. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies, others will pierce both pegs and enemies. And some will even heal you for every peg you hit. Hmm. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties, too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game, too. Equip these rare passive power ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when Peglin bounces onto Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later We got today. into 14 minutes into the stream without timed exclusive until now. <sighs> this is such poor writing. Just say it's coming to Nintendo Switch first. And it'll come on all the platforms, like PC and whatever else. Like there's nothing exclusive, like no exclusive content only on Nintendo Switch, and not on other platforms. Because they're just loosely using the terms very poorly, which makes it super confusing.
Okay, follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. Oh, this game? We're doing great so far. Hey, careful. There's a... Andrew! Oops, let's try this again. Scoot, scoot. Uh, jump! <sighs> Good thing we're tied together. I forgot what it's called, because I don't really am um, looking through it. this game hey, much. don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay. We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Oh boy. As you can see, cooperation. And they is upgraded key the frame rate. Eco Park. Eight That's what it was called. To work together to navigate levels full of ledges, cliffs, and other obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than 60 levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many players you have on your side. Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even greater challenges await in dark mode, where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Get oh ready God. for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive later today. <sighs> Can they stop saying Can't time exclusive? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Double night, okay. Europa. Trying a ghost pepper because it's extremely spicy. Okay. There's a metal slug tactic game. Okay. That's totally random, but all right. in that tower over there. Pizza tower. What tower. Of course. I know that's not a timed exclusive. Because this game's been out for a while. I don't know if I'll play this game because I know Ash has been asking me to try this out, but I'm not too sure. I'll think about it, but like, I can't guarantee I promise. This seems pretty interesting. Okay, it's available later today. That's not bad. For today's indie world yeah i survived of an indie showcase. world presentation there's only like two always, mentionings of thank you to our i'm exclusive crap partners, but making games for whatever i wasn't too bad account to stay up to date on all things indie on the nintendo yeah who Switch the system. fuck uses x i Stick don't around for more exciting news and updates in today's like, i don't nintendo use social media much so it's like whatever starting right now until next time Happy gaming! Yay, then we can now watch the the partner showcase direct stream. Woo! Finally. Let's see what kinds of games we're gonna see. 
coming this year and hopefully next year. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Please give us Persona 3 Reload for Switch. We'll be focusing and on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. These games are Ooh, Tetris into place. Tetris, okay. Huh. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris with a compilation oh, of historic 40 games. anniversary. Experience huh. the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Chain combos using explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bobless. Oh, wow. That's Use crazy. moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive museum. Yeah, a lot Including of people are going to buy Tetris and just spend hundreds of hours in this. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. All right. Plus, the NES version of Tetris oh, is coming to Nintendo okay. Switch Online this winter. I mean, we got Tetris on Game Boy, but the NES version, if anyone and prefers that, that's fine. Look out for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also okay. coming this winter. Speed into the unknown. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, I thought it was going to be the hi-fi um, rush game for Xbox. Your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard. By the way, rest in peace to all the developers who worked on that game and just got laid off by city as Microsoft. Each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic melee combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. Yeah, it makes a Hi-Fi Overdrive or whatever the Power Rush, whatever it's called. Star and Dino Blade in some way. On Nintendo Switch oh my God, they said time year. exclusive. We're not doing freaking Do Indie World stuff anymore. Oh, lay off with that crap. Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the role Goat of- Sims 3. <laughs> We're not kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, I, I, butt, lick, I don't know if you play Gold Sim because the I don't know like what PS4 or I don't know, find. but I never really Wanna bothered. Around town, join a yoga class, antagonize the locals. You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horns. And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief bad. <laughs> online or couch co-op. Hope you're ready to hoof it because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop later today. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Can you stop saying the word physical? It makes no sense. Here's a rapid fire mix of first Do not making sense with that freaking word. To Nintendo Switch. Ah, such terrible writing and unprofessional. Star Wars Hunter is literally like the Overwatch of Star Wars or something. It's 
still haven't really bothered with Disney Dreamlight Valley. I don't know if I want to give that game a try. Make Bikini Bottom huh, your a SpongeBob playground. game coming. Is this SpongeBob? Oh, no, this is Patrick. This is Patrick, the silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants. So Patrick stars get his own game. Sandbox adventure. God. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Puff's rage room. Experiment with items you find, from exploding pies to paint tubes to make the world more Patrick y. And he's not the only familiar face. They're like Octodabba with take on Patrick instead. From SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Buckle up! Hey, who turned out the lights? Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of his mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star Game, launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Ready for your very uh, own personal, personal trainer? trainer? Game. Okay, let's get started. Ready! One, two, I still can't believe they the have a freaking um, Fifth of the North Star collab. Is punching its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Once you're done, try going the distance. Along with an extra workout. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. Okay. 30 brand new songs are included. Maybe one more time. It's not the Jack Black one from Comfort Panel 4. Including two new ones. Plus, you can change their hairstyles. Let them motivate you as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. This oh. is going to be a match. Big Fighter to and Fatal Fury? Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in one collection. Okay. Here's the complete roster of games. Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom vs. SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001. Project Justice. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. Plasma Sword Nightmare of Pilstein. Power Stone. There's a lot of variety of fighting type and style Power games. Like 3D Brawler, 3D Fighters, and all that stuff. Each game has its own training mode. And oh, hitboxes. You can also visit the museum to enjoy artwork and music from each game. Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Plus, jump into the fray. Oh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics Hyper Combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Okay. Digital pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. And you can say the retail version instead. Next, it just makes more take sense. A look at this. There's nothing physical about the games. Hey, who the hell did Nintendo hire to say these kinds of like poorly written words like this? Hi 1904, nice to see you here. Yumi wa mieru no ga tadashii koto. Demo Tadashi Kotote, Stotsujan, I know you. Subete Horobita to Umutida. 
正しいことって何絶対に許さない身の程知らず愚か者今日はそうただのご挨拶ですともこれが私の全力どうか真相を解き明かして。Next year. We hope you're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some more headlines. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 108 allies in these turn based RPGs. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remaster, Gate Rune, and Dunan Unification Wars launches on Nintendo、That's、Switch March 6th, 2025. The HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. And selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake ventures onto Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Three Castlevania games originally、oh. released on the Nintendo DS system、games. Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia rise again in a single collection. Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included. Featuring the original and a reimagined version. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Okay. Build something you believe in. The award winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Rule、oh, yeah. of many、that、legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she、that、can、Benjamin、initiate、Franklin. diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its scientific strength and military force. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter when Sid Meier's Civilization VII launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 11th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Forge Bonds Transcending Time. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action Tales RPG of. Tales of Graces F. When the protagonist Asbel、right. and Prince Richard meet Sophia's children, we will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, as well as downloadable content from the original game. Tales of Graces F Remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. Two adorable adventures. Oh, my Sims. Cozy bundle. Alan was just talking to me about that the other day on my Alan Crossing stream on Saturday.
Well, I'm sure she's happy about that. I can say at least. Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh no. Think you've got what it takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Test your skills and your nerves in this first person horror game. As the newest employee, am I watching the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase? You have plenty of job duties, such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizza Plex Salon. You can fashion Getting up your scary like uh, animatronics? Wow. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Like a log ride. But it's just live broadcasting right now. Enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way. Become a fast fair and music. It's not superstar. helping. In Five Nights at Freddy's, Help Wanted 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. And if you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizza Plex, Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay, so there's extra content for Security Breach. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Let's dance. Well, we know we are getting Disney Epic Mickey Refresh, but I might get that game on PlayStation 5. But I probably won't play it until after Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, because so these two games are just too close to their release. So probably in like late September or around October. I might order Disney Epic Mickey Rebirth on Amazon instead of just heading to, to Target directly and just buy it like that. Of course, we're getting a PlayStation game still, Lego Horizon Adventures, <laughs> this holiday. I feel a little shocked about that, but that's cool. I gotta play the other Horizon games on PlayStation. This is another farming sim game. Azuma. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased oh, to exist, rune factory. and the land fell into decline. I mean, that's a farming sim. In this fresh take on the Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure than ever before. As an earth dancer, you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster and the sacred parasol to summon rain. These treasures and your earth dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Restore this once fruitful region to cultivate fields, construct houses, and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware. Monsters may lie in wait. Harness your Earth Dancer abilities to confront them and restore certain monsters to their human forms. As you settle into village life, 
Get to know the community around you and deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows, a wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. In Rune Factory Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. What's it gonna be? Yakuza? Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Meet Kazuma Kiryu. A I wasn't Yakuza thinking about that, but okay. Clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run. Two individuals whose fates intertwine. Set in Kamurocho, Japan's largest entertainment district, Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival gangs. Swap between four fighting styles in real-time combat. Fight bare knuckle, or arm yourself with makeshift weapons and go up against anything in your way. There are also plenty of distractions to be found in Kamurocho. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. Of course, a serious game with a lot of comical stuff happening. Yeah. Discover how the epic series began when Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. I was almost anticipating Persona to reload at the end, but I guess not. The whole presentation is just, eh. It's like, you know, it's not bad. There's some interesting games for other people, but, like, most of it's not for me. Like, I don't know, but... I don't know, this, this um, presentation isn't the worst, but, like, I was kind of... You know, there wasn't really a, like, a whole lot coming up this year and next year, so it kind of makes sense that some may be pushed to wait until the next console, but who knows? We'll probably wait and see, but for now, this Direct is, like... Eh. as well as like the indie world presentation so i don't know